I'd like to introduce Dr. Dana Keaton from Arizona in the United States. Thank you for joining me, Dana. I'm glad to be here. Thank you. Could you tell us when you first heard about LDN? Yes. When I first started practicing, I was using a technique with a road back. It was called with antibiotic therapy for rheumatoid arthritis. And so I had people that were already out of the mainstream. And when I first heard about the LDN approach was probably about 11 or 12 years ago, and it was introduced to me by one of those patients. The patients sometimes are our best resource if we listen. Mm -hmm. Okay. So when I began, uh, it was with a patient who had um, MS, and she hadn't been able to find a solution that worked for her, and she'd been to many rheumatologists and neurologists and many different experts with no avail. And so she asked me if I'd be willing to try this method, and I researched as best I could and couldn't see any problems with it. You know, it's very low risk. There's very little side effects with this therapy. No cross-reactions with other things I could see. Um, You know, unless you're using high dose, you didn't really even need to worry about organ problems, liver problems, or any of that. So I agreed to give it a try because I couldn't see where it would do any harm and it had an outstanding potential for doing some benefit. And that was my first experience. Mm -hmm. Uh, And what was the result that that patient saw? Um, She's still using it. She um, controls her symptoms quite well. She's not, you know, she still has MS, but um, she does well. She does other therapies as well, not uh, drug therapies, but other um, lifestyle. You know, I think managing your lifestyle with these things is always a plus because it gives whatever medicine you're on less of a task. If the body's already aligned with what's going on and you're already supporting it the best that you can with diet, exercise, mental, emotional plane, you know, really working it on that end. And then you add in these medications like the LDN, that can give you help without harm, and sometimes it's just miraculous. Mm-hmm. And what other patients have you treated since then? The majority of the astounding results I've had have been with patients with rheumatoid arthritis. <clears throat> and with rheumatoid arthritis, it, it can totally just take care of the symptoms. I have taken many people that we've been able to get completely off of now, of their um, methyltrexate, their, you know, biologicals, all of those things that have much worse side effects. And they function fine. Mm-hmm. They, ha- they haven't had a degeneration of their um, joints. They, you know, when they start the LDN protocol, they do well. We, we've had a, a few questions just lately of people saying, I have rheumatoid arthritis. My doctor wants me to go on methotrexate. I don't want to, but he's insisting, and can I take it with the LDN? What advice would you give? I have had people do them um, concurrently to start and then back off of the drug, other drugs over time <clears throat> because they didn't need the other drugs. Unfortunately, in mainstream medicine, it's hard to find doctors who are willing to step outside of the box that they're in, there's a lot of repercussions that they're concerned about. And then the other thing is they don't go outside and learn these other techniques. You know, I didn't learn this in medical school. I I learned it myself. And so you're looking for a doctor that's still teaching themselves new techniques and who's willing to step outside of the mainstream recommendation. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we always being asked is, how long does it take before my pain starts to diminish? With the rheumatoid arthritis, I've seen it work pretty immediate, really. It doesn't take weeks and months. They start to get a reduction. And, of course, I should backtrack. It takes longer if you have more inflammation. You know, that goes without saying. Anything's going to be more effective if it has less of a job to do. Again, getting back to taking care of other things as well so that you get a better result from the LDN. So 
For in people who have minor arthritis pain, it usually takes care of it within the week. It really works rapidly. In someone who's got a lot of inflammation where their hands are red and swollen and, you know, they're having trouble walking and it, all of the other things that can happen down the line, you're not going to necessarily get a complete resolution and certainly not immediately. Mm-hmm. So I guess the advice there would be to get to somebody quick before it goes any further along and get going on a program that's going to work for you. Mm -hmm. What can you do to reduce the inflammation? Well, inflammation in the body in general is reduced by getting sufficient sleep, by eating an anti-inflammatory diet, which means primarily eating fruits and vegetables with organic meats and particularly fish, staying away from packaged processed foods, staying away from too much um, red meat and beef and things that have a high saturated fat content. So that's the diet piece. Then you've got sufficient rest is underestimated. It, It makes a huge difference. And then I encourage people to work on some sort of a meditative practice or some practice that helps them to manage the stresses that come into their life. Anyone who's had an inflammatory disease, be it MS or rheumatoid, will be able to tell you over time they notice that whenever they're under a lot of stress, their symptoms flare up. Well, we can't control the stress that comes into our lives, but we can control how we react to it. So that's another piece in terms of controlling the inflammation and exercise to the best that they can in keeping your circulation going because the circulation helps clear out things that are causing more inflammation in the joints or in whatever area is involved. If it's the thyroid, it's you know, helping with that. So those lifestyle parameters are really great to get in place with using the LDN as well. But those alone won't, won't reverse the problem like the LDN well. Yeah. Now, if we've got anybody listening who lives in Arizona, how can they contact you? I'm at the Center for Natural Medicine, and that's our website, too, the centerfornaturalmedicine.com. And we're on uh, 9th Avenue in McDowell, and our phone number is 602-266-4670. And I just welcome any patients that I can help. And I know so many people are helped with these treatments. Mm -hmm. And and one thing, you you may or may not do it, but if there's anybody in Arizona who um, is too far to to travel from you, would you do a telephone consultation or do you only do face-to-face? Our law says I have to see the person once. Right. So Mm -hmm. they come in and see me once. I have patients all over the country, actually. I have patients in New York, Montana, um, Oregon, all over the country. But they they fly in and see me one time, which, Mm -hmm. by the way, this would be a perfect time of year. It's gorgeous here. (laughs) (laughs) Good good time for a vacation in Arizona. And then from there on, we can do uh, phone consultations for the management. Okay. Well, that's a, a really big help, I'm sure. Is there anything else you'd like to add about LDN that we haven't covered? I think the thing people want to hear, and it's true, is that you do have hope for improving your symptoms because so many of these diseases, the doctors are just stringing you along on a drug and telling you you're going to get worse, but this will keep you from being in as much pain. And it's a kind of a hopeless scenario. So it's nice to know that you have alternatives that you can be hopeful about. Mm Mm-hmm. Well, thank you very much for sharing your experience with us. Thank you. It was a very nice interview. I wish well to many people. 